Please welcome the very funny Miss Debbie Raza. But then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong. And I grew strong. And I learned how to get along. So I love that song. That's like my mantra. I've been married three times. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I don't play around. I'm from the Bronx, you know? Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I was lucky, too, back in the day. This was going on straight up and down, you know? <laughs> it was. It was a good look. Now, not so good. How to get these in uh, Goodwill. The vintage section. So what? One seam goes this way and one seam goes that way. I got no ass to fill out jeans anymore. It's a shame. That's why I'm saving up for plastic surgery. I'm starting from the ass up. Because when you have a big fat ass, that's respect. You ever see those girls? That's going to be me. Then I'm getting the eyes and the lips. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now, I've been very fortunate. Do you know I was divorced in my first, and I had my second lined up? Yeah, my poor second husband was dying. Oh, it was a terrible time in our lives. I was going to the hospital every day, going home, doing sit-ups, getting ready for the next husband. Oh, it was not easy. Oh, it was rough, rough. Uh, so I married this one. It's easy to just say this one or the third. No, I don't have the best memory. The first two were Joe. It was so easy. Joe! This one's James, and I call him Jones. He gets so pissed. <laughs> My name is James. I calm down. It's not like I'm calling you Carlos, our neighbor, right? I'm still calling, right? I'm still calling you one of my husband's names. Please. Oh. We had a huge fight on our honeymoon cruise. Why wait? And I woke up, he was gone. I saw, oh my God, they're going to come after me. You can't have two husbands die right after the other. That don't look good. You know what I mean? Oh, this. Oh, I was so relieved when I saw him in the distance and I realized there's no way they could think you'd get his fat ass over the railing anyway. Oh, I'm in the middle of a divorce. I didn't really want it. I just figured I'd scare him into changing. It didn't work. And we were getting along better. Who knew? I stopped telling him what to do, and he stopped telling me, shut the frig up, you know? <laughs> it was working. So I said, maybe we can reconcile. Oh, no. He's singing, I will survive, and he's packing. <laughs> oh, that's our song, I will survive. You know where he's going? In the next bedroom. We can't afford to live apart. <laughs> and let me tell you something, it's hard dating when you're living with your husband. It really <laughs> It's hard. You know, I gotta keep dressing up. No, it's a fancy show I'm going to. I gotta dress up, I got my boobies out. No, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's rough. No, but I gotta tell you that I meet only cheap bastards. Cheap bastards. One guy wanted to take me to the park in his neighborhood. Frick you, I got my own park. I don't have to travel to you. Unbelievable, right? Another guy took me out for coffee. McDonald's, he said, get whatever size you want. I mean, this is the shit that's out there. I'm telling you. What happened to feeding girl? You know what it is? I think because the women are too easy. They got that Tinder, stripe bright if you want to get laid. I think that's what ruined it. Really, they don't even want to buy us a sandwich anymore. What happened? Now, I'm trying to get back with my ex. Might as well, he's working and he's there. <laughs> right? Everything I do bothers him. Would you believe it? I like Lifetime movies about women that get young, good-looking men to kill their husbands. I love that. I find that so entertaining, you know? But in all honesty, I couldn't do it. If I tell you this week, he was choking on dried pineapple, honestly. He was choking. And you know, they say you only have a moment to make up your mind what you're gonna do, it's true. Because he's choking. <coughs> and I'm looking at him and thinking, this could all be mine. <laughs> But I gave him the Heimlich, he's fine. Afterwards, I questioned myself. I said, why didn't you just scream? The windows were closed. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? You see, snapped, right? Woman sticks the knife in the husband. <laughs> I could do that. Yeah. 
had two daughters engaged this time last year? Ask me who got down the aisle. Nobody. You know why? Because they couldn't shut up. <laughs> really, people say, how'd you get married three times? I just shut up. <laughs> Until you get them down the aisle, then you could speak up. <laughs> right? That's when you find your voice. Get them down the aisle. It's like being in the union. <laughs> right? It's not hard. Uh, one of my daughters moved back with her baby. Beautiful boy, beautiful. I gotta get out of here. Beautiful boy. But she had a hard time. She really did. She would say, oh my God, it's so painful. I'm like, oh, what'd you think? You know, I, I did that for you. You know what I mean? And then sometimes you can't help it. They're born, their heads are a little big, like a cone head. <laughs> yeah. He looked like a little Rastafarian with his cap on. Yeah, but I love him. That's my time. I gotta get out of here. I'm Debbie Blaster. <laughs>